All right, wait a minute. I was just passing by this aisle, and I noticed you can buy a butt. It's literally a fake butt. What the heck? Mom, can I be a butt for Halloween? Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at this Spirit Halloween right back here in the Las Vegas Premium Outlets. And right over here, I spy with my eye the True Religion Jeans Outlet. I just might have to go there and get some shorts. But anyways, let's go into the Spirit Halloween first, guys. Because that is what I have traveled across the country to do. Spirit Halloween, Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at those palm trees. All right, let's go on in and see what awesomeness we can find and maybe even buy. Look at this, guys. They have the donation stars right when you walk in the door, right on these posts on both sides. They are all along the bottom here and up across the top. And holy crap, look at this. We have Reagan up here and Ghostface. Let's just step back a second and get a good look at that. That looks totally cool. Holy crap, look. They're doing a raffle. It says $5 raffle on there, and it says $5 raffle on there. And right here is an entire army of creeping cats. Will you tell me your plan of attack, sir? Yeah, I should have known better. All right, guys, this store looks like a much smaller store than the ones that we've been going into, but it is awesome nonetheless. There is no such thing as an unawesome spirit Halloween. I hear animatronics going crazy back here, and I see some on the floor here for sale, including, look at this, we have four stilts here. Here, AKA Papa Pins. We have four scary sitting scarecrows here. We have a Desmodus over here. Look at this. We have four howling spirits. We have a Dagger Mike on the end here and a young Crouchy on the bottom. Three eternal rests here. We have a little Skelly Bones up on top of a Darling Dolly. Another Darling Dolly over here. And look at this, guys. We have the Mars Attack. Martian warrior right here in front of my face in Las Vegas. I want him and I want him now, but he's too big for my car. <laughs> so anyways, we have two black hearts here and we have two leather faces here as well. Speaking of leather face, look at this guy. What? So we have the leather face and we have the Sam Tiny Tor Tiny Terrors Horror Babies. I can't even get it out. Look at this. We also have the Pennywise. And I see babies on this side who are dying to be adopted. We have the Moth Eater, the Pumpkin Eater, the Spider Biter, the Crazy Butt Guy, the Hand Eater, the Crawler, and the Rat Eater. And we have secrets keeping cats. Look at this. We have four of them. What kind of secrets are you keeping today, sirs? And have you passed your abilities on to the secret keeping snake. <laughs> we have creeping cats and hello rats. Look at this, there's a whole plethora of creeping cats on the floor down here. This store is full of creeping cats. And we have not one, but two scabs. Where is your best friend, Carrot? Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Look at this, they have a whole bunch of creepy pumpkins, they're calling them. Look, the sign even says, creepy pumpkins. I don't even think I've seen that before. We have five of these scarecrow creepy pumpkins, three, four, five, six of these scully pumpkins. What do you think, are they skeletons or pumpy tens. That was weird. <laughs> okay, let's move on. We have feet on ropes and hook head hogs. And look at this, guys. I am blown away. The store that I was just in had four ham hocks for sale. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight ham hocks for sale. All right, it's a little quieter in this store, so let's come over here and look at these pathway markers, because we haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at these, but they are totally awesome. Let's try the creepy lanterns. I don't hear any sounds, but they light up and they're purple and they have a spider on a web. 
That is pretty cool. All right, the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. He lights up as well, and I don't hear any sound. Look at this alien guy. It's just like he's standing up there going, excuse me, excuse me, sir, I'm here too. Hey, excuse me. All right, let's take a look at the four-piece jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. Okay, they're flashing, but they don't make any sound. I was thinking... All right, hold on a minute. Okay, yes, they... Now they're making sound. Listen. Okay, they're very quiet, but they do make sounds. I heard, like, some crows in there and just some regular spooky sounds. I wish they were louder, though. And let's take a look at these four-piece creepy skull pathway markers as well. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Check that out. Strobing skulls. And we also have these zombie arm pathway markers, which I think are totally cool. They make some sound, but you can't hear them very well. The other ones they have here are these bumpy, spooky pumpkins, which I can't reach because they're on the top shelf up there, but those are pretty cool too. All right, wait a minute. I was just passing by this aisle, and I noticed you can buy a butt. It's literally a fake butt. What the heck? Mom, can I be a butt for Halloween? All right, I don't want to forget to look at these guys over here. I can already hear poor George because a small child has set him off. But let's go ahead and look at the straw man here. And once again, he is just jam-packed into this little area. You can hide in the hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and thin. He is super loud. All right, let's come over here and see Gordo. How will he light up? Will he light up? All right, he's lighting up. He's pretty loud. I love the cat, the screeching cat and the crow. The crow tops it off perfect and makes it very Halloween-y. And let's not forget about the widow. Come on, widow, come on. Here we go. Let's just take a close look at her face. Doesn't she remind you of demonic Dahlia? People have even told me that she is supposed to be Dahlia's sister, and maybe it says that in the description online, but I missed it. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you some wigs, and you tell me in the comments who they look like. Wig number one. Wig number two. Wig number three. Wig number four, and bonus on this one, if you can tell me who I always say that looks like to me. Wig number five, and wig number six. Did somebody say hot pants? <laughs> who ordered the milk? Out of toilet paper? Don't even get me started. Ooh, look at this, guys. I haven't seen a clearance section in the stores for a while. We got the devil door knocker. Um, 1997. I don't remember the original price. I think it was 29 or 39. Both of these are 1997. Uh-oh, he said heck. Get away, sir. No wonder he's on clearance. All right, I have to take a minute to look at the SpongeBob costume again because they are so cool. So up at the top here, we have the inflatable SpongeBob. We have the inflatable Patrick. We also have Mermaid Man right here. And we have Barnacle Boy. We have the inflatable Squidward here. We have the Krusty Krab jacket, which is totally cool. The Doodle Bob, the Krusty Krab baseball hat. And look at this, look at this beanie. What the heck, it's a doodle. Bob Beanie. We have the Krusty Krab hat and the Krusty Krab spatula and awesome SpongeBob socks. All right, let's make our way back over here, guys, because I know we haven't seen everything that's over here. We looked at the bobbleheads in the last store we were in, but we didn't see this one right here. The Corpse Bride scraps. Is this? Yeah, okay. It's just two different sides of him. I thought it was two different bobbleheads, but he looks like this on one side and this on the other. No, that's not right. He looks like this from the front and this from the side. <laughs> sticker for the bucket, sticker for the bucket, sticker for the bucket. Oh, look at this, guys. How did I not notice that this goes through into a whole other room and there's a dude coming out? All right, guys, look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sk sitting scarecrows here. We have two jumping spiders. Look at this. We have a whole wall of man 
man's possessed friend and an even bigger wall of more jumping spiders. I don't care who you are, that is a totally awesome way to make a sweet, spooky tunnel. And waiting at the other end is Michael Myers. All right, let's look at the ghost face section for a minute here, guys. Look at this. They have a bunch of costumes, but only a couple of masks. Oh, this is even a kid's size mask. And they have the glow-in-a-dark face mask. And look at this. They have the ghost face bling knife. They only have one, two, three. They have four of these left. These have been selling like crazy, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, they're kind of cool, but they're not like the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I know I've shown it in my other videos too. They also make a bling ghost face mask that matches this. All right, let's take a quick walk down through here and see if there's any costumes that catch our eye that we haven't really seen before. Catch our eye, he said. I do like all these Pokemon costumes here. I'm not really into Pokemon, but these look totally cool. We got the Pikachu. We got the Charmander. Down here, we have the Score Bunny Flambino. Okay, the Grookey Ousted. What in the world kind of names are these? Okay, wait a minute. I think I get it. This is a Bulbasaur, but it also has a different name down there because it's a different language. I totally didn't get it. I'm sorry I didn't understand, but look at this. They also have a Eevee. I literally thought that was like one name down there, and his whole name was Score Bunny Flambino. That kind of sounds cool, actually. These Sonic beanies look pretty cool, and what is this? Sonic the Hedgehog rings. How cool is that? Whoa, they made noise. <laughs> I guess they just make noise if you move them, set them down. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to, like, clink them together. And that's when they make noise. Whoa, I don't think I've seen this one yet, guys. The Fall Guys chicken inflatable. You can never go wrong with an inflatable chicken costume. And that brings us back once again to Dagger Mike. Every time I see him, I want him, and I keep passing him up. So I think today's the day I'm gonna go ahead and buy him. Mr. Mike, you are coming home with me today. Mm -hmm.